what up, him and our family? It's your girl, Mac. It's your Rosh. But look, man, back with another reaction video. But look, man, thanks for tuning in with us on this reaction video. But if y'all new to our channel, Mac, let them know how they can be a part of the him and our family. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to like this video. And if you guys want to stay tuned and drop videos, turn that notification bell. Today we got Titanic Sub Lies. Media is spreading. And this video is from the Officer Tatum channel. So shout out to the Officer Tatum. But look, man, any other videos y'all want to see us react to on the channel, man, drop them things down in the comments. But look, man, don't forget, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. But look, man, let's get to this video. Let's get to it. against time. The search is on for a submersible that vanished with five people on board during a dive to the Titanic wreck site in the North Atlantic. The company behind this expedition says the submersible is equipped right with, with up to 96 hmm. hours of oxygen. Now there's less than 24 hours of oxygen left in the lost Ocean Gate expedition submersible. Why did the government lie to us? Ah. Ah. I said the same thing. Why? Same thing. Man. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. So go to the website and get some merch from Tatum Store. Link is in the bio uh, or the description section. A discount code should pop up right here on the screen. Uh, get you a good discount. I may, I may need to make another discount uh, for one of my videos. Uh, obviously, I'm not in my studio. I'm in Israel. I'm, at, I'm actually in Tiberias, right off the Sea of Galilee, which is which is right here. Um, so I'm making my videos from Israel. I just want to throw that out there for all the people who are watching me and listening. It, it's just it's a beautiful experience. All right. Anyway, That's let's right. let's get into this video. <laughs> uh, I, I've been extremely perplexed at the things that I've been reading about what happened with the Titus the submersible uh, that was lost at sea visiting the Titanic. Here's a whole bunch of things that I have that, that are confusing, confounding to me. Um, many videos that I have that will just probably pop them up sporadically uh, through this video to give clarification on the things that I'm talking about. Uh, first and foremost, the CEO, in my opinion, uh, is it set people up for failure. I do not understand for the life of me how people with that much money would trust a man who don't seem like he have a concrete uh, medical emergency perspective uh, when he's building this thing that's going to descend uh, two and a half miles down to the sea, um, I mean down in the ocean to visit the Titanic through a little baby window. And, and people are upset with him because he said he don't like to hire 50 year old white men. When I started the business, one of the things you'll find, there are other sub operators out there, but they, they typically um, have uh, gentlemen who are ex-military submariners and they, you'll see a whole bunch of 50 year old white guys. Um, I wanted our team to be younger, to be inspirational. And I'm not going to inspire a 16 year old to, to go pursue Marine technology. You know, that's not my biggest problem. I get what he's saying. I think I think it's idiotic, but I get what he's saying, right? I mean, he's trying to be forward thinking. He's trying to be innovative. And he's saying that an old 50 year old man like him is not going to inspire the next generation of people that want to do exp exploration. Um, however, um, so is this why they came up with the Xbox controller? Yeah. To control it? Uh, yeah, I don't. That like probably lost connection. Yeah, like it's a video game. This is real life. Like, what about the controller lose connection? Like, this, uh, this is real life. Like, and, a, and the controller is like, it was like 30 bucks? Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Crazy. Hoping and praying that that wasn't the detriment in which uh, he fell or succumbed to, uh, given the fact that they probably weren't adequately prepared for the situation at hand. Also, the biggest thing that bothers me is that I think the media is lying to us. And I don't understand why. You know, I knew this was something suspicious from the very beginning of all of this because they kept giving us this arbitrary time period and their oxygen levels. Now, let me play the video of just a really quick news clip of why I'm saying that the media is lying to us because our government already knew that this submersible, it, it, you know, exploded or not impl imploded uh, literally an hour after it deployed. Roll the clip. A transponder that's used to track a sub during descent and on the bottom is a fully autonomous system it's in its own pressure housing and it has its own battery power so for them to lose comms and tracking at the same time sub was gone there was no question in my mind i for days i, I tried to run other scenarios that could account for it i could come up with nothing um mm. so the next thing i did was contacted a few more people and uh, managed to track down, uh, you know, there are acoustic networks around. Some are research, some are, some are intelligence. Um, we got confirmation within an hour that there had been a loud bang 
at the same time that the sub was, that comms were lost. A loud bang on the hydrophones, loss of transducer or transponder, loss of comms. I knew what happened. Sub imploded. I, I sent emails to everybody I know. I said, we've lost some friends. The sub has imploded. It's on the bottom in pieces right now. I sent that out Monday morning. As you can see, this, this is wow. like two hours after it deployed. Right when it lost contact, they, they believe they heard through sonar wow. the implosion of this thing. But, but days and days and days, they lingered on, giving us this arbitrary number of oxygen levels that are left. And in my opinion, they did this because they wanted us to have the suspense. They wanted to be able to have new, news coverage, mm -hmm. everybody in the world looking at this story and, and, and milking it for 90 hours. Right. That's what they wanted. They, they Listen, I'm not a rocket scientist or a submersible scientist, but it's very clear to me that you cannot ever give an ar arbitrary um, oxygen level amount. You, you can't. You can, Listen, nobody verified if 90 hours w was even legitimately certified as the as the amount of oxygen they had on that particular um, vehicle. Right. Nobody know that. Where, where's yeah. the verification? Where's the log? How do you know that you buy by the log? How do you know any of that is real? And then you got to think that you have all those people in the in the in the um, in the submersible, and then you have to go and, and methodically think. Well, how much oxygen are they using? Right. Are they panicking? Are they using more than they should? Are they moving around? You know, is one, is one person having an asthma attack? I mean, you right. you, you never know how much Possible. consumption they're having based on their movement and based on yeah. panic and based on arguing and talking and, and the energy it takes you to bang at the top of the thing or whatever they claim they were doing is going to exhort. It's going to it's going <laughs> to blow through your oxygen levels no matter what. Right. And then the, the obvious implosion scenario. Why, why wasn't that the leading story? It's probably my wake up call. Why wasn't that the leading story? Why wasn't the fact that our, our naval technology received feedback that there was an implosion right right away? Why wouldn't that be the first stop? Like, how did you lose connection? Right. That's what I said. With the Wi-Fi went out? Or That's the thing what imploded? That's I said. That's what I'm saying. You know, I, they said they heard banging. For two days in a row now, rescue teams have detected underwater noises described as banging sounds. Even as recently as this morning, according to the Coast Guard, who just gave an update a short time ago, this has given people some hope. But experts stress they are still working to determine the origin of those sounds. What does what? that even mean? Yeah. 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 For real. I said what? Pieces of the thing floating on the sea bottom or, or the mm -hmm. ocean bottom. Right. I mean, who, who knows? I think that the whole media just sold us a dream. And we've been sitting here on the edge of our seats because they need revenue and media coverage. And I've been waiting to make this video. Hey, I think Officer Tatum is right. I think he's right. Because, like, even from the jump, like, why y'all didn't have a long, a long cord? like a, a cord to attach to the back of that submarine to the boat. So once you drop it, if anything, you heard yeah, a boom, it, you yeah, pull it back, back up. up. Mm -hmm. And now mm -hmm. if it went into pieces and you pulled the thing back up and it's not hooked to it, then you know it imploded or mm -hmm. like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, that's, why they didn't, that's just crazy because I don't know. I said like, I don't even no know No backup why plans? They, no yeah, backup plans to pull it back up? Like they couldn't open the submarine and didn't have like what is them things the little, like the, the oxygen tanks and swimsuits? Yeah, and try but, to but swim what they do, in. they like from the well, outside, they like they like what welded them in from the outside, outside. So like they couldn't even have an emergency exit. It was no like emergency. Like it was like exit. no emergency. It just don't. Yeah, sound like right. y'all didn't have no type of button to the point that something and blow that up and, and, and float them back Xbox to the top. Controller. Let's yeah, be for like real. why? Why the X button or the Y button wasn't the thing to the point that. It, something blow up and just takes us right to the top. Yeah, one of them, like something yeah. that just like like four corners and it blows up, takes floats them back to the top. Like at this point, like smart. I kind of felt like they, they planned that. Been floating on top, like waiting. they planned that. They knew all of that was gonna happen. You asked because they need revenue and media coverage. And I've been waiting to make this video because I'm like, there has to be some solid stuff. And I think that it, I think it is. There's just so many people on the internet making all these videos and. 
all the, all these conclusions about what's going on, and I think that they all have led us all on to believe that this is some race against time and some heroic event, and there's going to be a happy ending to the end of the, to the end of this. Yeah. When all along they knew that they probably been dead since they lost connection. Yeah. That thing probably collapsed on itself uh, when they lost connection two hours in, which is probably about about the amount of time it takes them to get to the bottom of the ocean. That pressure was too much, and it completely crushed. Um, the vessel, and then there's a video of a guy, you know, showing an example of that. See, a lot of people wondering what a submarine implosion would look like. This is an example of what the submarine would look like when it implodes. Absolutely Damn. horrifying. So. Yeah. Anyway, I just thought I'd throw it out there, give my opinions on the on the matter. Uh, so anyway, y'all comment in the comment section. What you think about all this? You know, do you think that the guy was a racist? I mean, do you think that um, how stupid do you think this was for them to freaking have a joystick and it looked like a homemade uh, submarine that they call a submersible? Uh, what do you guys think? You know, let me know in the comments in the comment section. Like, subscribe to the channel. Y'all already know the. This was crazy. crazy. Like, they really used an Xbox controller. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. No, like, Amazon is $30. 30 bucks. So, y'all use something that's $30 to go all the way down. Like, how? I just, um, get Yeah, it. Like, and then, and then what, two hours later? It and was the guy already, that they, built they, it. Yeah, they was already saying that it probably imploded. Like, all of our friends, it should be on the bottom. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we lost a lot of friends. And like, then, if you already um, had said that, like... I ain't gonna lie. Did the was the media really just egging leading everybody on. on and yeah, egging it on? Yeah, pretty much. Maybe this is crazy. Hiding a lot. It of threw me off with the with the controller. The controller. And then he wanted really... young people help. You and want... then it my, then it kind of just threw me off because the guy that made it like you didn't try your own stuff first. Exactly. Exactly. Like... And then all that pressure down there. Yeah. <clears throat> and the submarine was just so little, so of course it's just, yeah, yeah so it much pressure so, down there. It was very little. It wasn't even that big. That's crazy. Then they just kept going with it. Hey, hey, I kind of believe that, man. I kind of believe that. Why like, a submarine? Because it shouldn't take. It shouldn't take too, too, too long to get down there. Shouldn't not. Just you know what I mean. He said two hours though. So. Hey, wow. Hey, but look, man. Let us know what y'all think. Let us know what y'all think what happened or anything, man, because this is crazy. This I want to I want to know what y'all think. Like, but look, man, any other videos y'all want to see us react to on the channel, man, just drop them things down in the comments. But look, man, don't forget, hit the like button. Subscribe, subscribe to, to the, the channel. channel. But, but look, man, we, we catch y'all on the next video. video.